we're going to learn about what it takes to install a camera above an eagle's nest, which is amazing. And to help us learn about it, we've got a few folks. First, we're going to talk with Brett Peters, and you are the assistant director here at the beautiful Notre Dame Linked Experimental Ecosystem Facility, which is at St. Patrick's County Park in South Bend. That's right. So what's happening today? So today we're going to be replacing the Eagle Cam, which has been positioned above the Eagle Nest here since 2017. Um, in the, uh, the spring of 2021, the camera went offline and we did some troubleshooting. It looks like the camera itself uh, broke. Yeah. Um, so we're re going to re be replacing it with a uh, slightly more modern camera okay. that, uh, that functions. Okay, and this is actually the camera. This is the one that will be going up in the tree shortly. And this, does it have any new features? Because I know people love watching eagle nest cameras. Mm, yeah. So what will this one do? Well, it's very similar in terms of the, spe the specs in terms of zoom and and, and cool. resolution and whatnot, which is all very, very high quality. And this is like, you put like camouflage paint. Yeah, yeah, I just I put a little camouflage paint there to make it blend in a little more with uh, the sycamore bark. Exactly, because it is a big nest in a sycamore tree. That's right. right? What about the types of stuff that you use the camera for? I mean, obviously you can see the chicks, you can see right. the Right, I mean, it's it's great entertainment, mm -hmm. you know, we know that, but we've also be, have been using it for some science. And uh, uh, what we've been able to do is document the prey that comes into the eagle nest, which is not something you can generally do um, because yeah. you can't see into eagle nests. Right. So we actually had a paper published recently um, documenting um, that the, the, the prey that came into the nest in uh, 2018. And all those food items were like a variety of things. Oh, yeah. Like uh, muskrats and turtles. Yeah, muskrats, turtles, um, uh, lots of fish. Fish is the, the primary uh, prey for eagles. So, uh, uh, Even roadkill, right? Roadkill, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. We've, uh, uh, in 2020, uh, 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 deer carcasses, the, the front halves of uh, two small deer made it up. Amazing. So it's incredible. Amazing. Eagles are amazing. So... How, who's actually doing the installation and how is that, like, how do you get the camera up there? Yeah, I mean, it's not something that I can do. Um, <laughs> and uh, we've been uh, working with uh, Davy Resource Group, who has been gener enough, generous enough to um, uh, donate their time and services with some experienced tree climbers uh, to go up that tree and, uh, and do the replacement. Awesome. Well, I'm going to talk with Jeremy from Davy Resources Group and get a little bit of his perspective. And I know you got to yep. get the camera and the and microphone, microphone out to the tree. So I'll meet up with you there in a little bit. Sounds good. Okay, see Bye. you in a bit. Well, now I'm with Jeremy from Davy Resources Group. And tell me a little bit about the gear that the crew is using to kind of get, I mean, that's way up there in that tree. So how do they do it? Sure. It's... Uh... A deceptively simple setup. Uh, <laughs> they really just use a rope and um, a little bit of extra gear. Uh, they've got a, an ascender clip on their feet um, and they, they tie what's called a friction hitch on the rope um, and that kind of acts like a, an ascender that rock climbers would use. Um, and then they just pull themselves up in the tree. Which sounds super easy, but looks really hard to me. I mean, that's hard work. Plus, they're like, going through branches and twigs and everything else. Right? Yeah, it's a lot of specialized training. I, I would think so, a lot of training. How about the fact that this is an eagle's nest? Have you folks ever done something like this into a nest? Um, Davy does a wide variety of things. Um, we are actually a nationwide company and had to have uh, people come from a few offices here today uh, because of work scheduling and everything. So our climbers are actually from the Cincinnati office. Um, I'm from Indianapolis. And of course we have our, our new office here in South Bend too. Um, and usually these guys are climbing to do invasive species surveys. Mm -hmm. right. um, and so they haven't actually climbed up to a, a raptor nest before. So this is a first, which is totally awesome. And I know one of the things that Brett's going to have the crew do is actually put a meter stick and get some measurements. We think the nest is about, I don't know, seven feet across or so, maybe eight feet. But that's one of the things, in addition to installing the camera, that's one of the things that actually you'll, your crew will actually be able to help provide is some data about how yeah. big that nest is. One of the other things I think that uh, one of the climbers has is a GoPro. So what are you hoping that we'll get to see from that? I think we'll get a pretty good first-person view of how he got up into the tree <laughs> and what he sees. 
which will be great. A different like perspective. The nest and everything. So that's going to be really fun. We certainly appreciate Davy Resource Group being here. Why did you all decide that you could do this or should do this? Well, um, we decided that this would be a good good project for our community give back program, um, where we we like to support um, you know certain causes, and and this is is right in line with our company values, um, and so um, we like to help support uh, research and and do things that are good for the community. And you do a that. variety of things, right? Sometimes it's tree planting. Exactly. So, sometimes it's actual donations. So we certainly appreciate you being here because. Certainly, I couldn't get up the tree. I don't know that Brett could get up the tree, so your expertise and all the training and all the resources you bring is great for this particular project. So thanks so much for being here. We're happy to help. Thank you. I'm going to go check in with Brett now and see how the installation is going. Well, Brett, the crew's up there right now, and they just hollered some information down. What did we just learn? Six feet wide. So we've always kind of guesstimated how wide the eagle nest was. We set up a, up a, a tape and they, uh, they gave us an official measurement. Official measurement, six feet wide. Still plenty big, yes. big, big nest. Now, to, speaking of distances, there's actually a, like a safe zone or a restricted zone around an eagle's nest. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so the bald eagles and golden eagles are protected by uh, a special act, which limits any kind of disturbance to the eagles. And so what is suggested is a 330 foot um, buffer zone from, from those eagles. Um, and so if people come out, to mm -hmm. St. Patrick's County Park and the ND Leaf facility. There's signage. There right? is, yeah, there's signage letting you know when you're gonna be encroaching on that. And um, the pavilion at ND Leaf is perfectly situated just outside that 330 foot zone. Um, so it's an ideal place to, to see the eagle nest. So if you're gonna come here, go there. We should also talk about the fact that right now, obviously there's a crew in the tree. We're standing fairly close. Yep. The timing of the installation of the eagle camera was critical, right? Yeah, so it can't be during the breeding season, um, which um, in this area um, begins in December. So we wanna make sure we're before that um, so the eagles aren't actively in that breeding cycle where we could disturb them potentially. Yeah, cause late fall, they actually start coming back to the nest and yep. bringing twigs and you just wanted to make sure that the installation was done in October so that yep. it was totally, totally yep. clear. So yep. that's that's all terrific. Did you have to get permission to put that up there? Um, we notified the DNR and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service just to let them know what we were doing um, and uh, the time, and they verified, you know, the breeding season um, and that we'd be outside of that. And so that, that that's was it. good. Yep. Okay, great. What kind of response overall have you had to the Eagle Nest camera? Uh, it's been great. Um, you know, such a huge, huge uh, uh, response online and in the local community. Um, I think w uh, uh, it really shows because uh, with when, when the camera went down, we had so many people reaching out saying, hey, we would like to support a new one. And so we quickly fundraised for that and uh, uh, fundraised enough money to purchase the new camera um, from, from those viewers. That's great. Uh, so it's that's, been, great. that's been great. Well, we certainly appreciate the University of Notre Dame and the Environmental Change Initiative actually getting the camera and putting it up and making sure that it all happens because it's a great resource for the community and beyond because mm -hmm. people can watch the Eagle Nest Cam at ND Leaf from anywhere. All right? over the world. All over the world. It's awesome. All right, Brett, thanks so yep, much. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of the installation. Thanks. Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.